Today we are making arroz con gandules. Let's get started. Our ingredients for today is olives, salt, garlic powder, vegetable oil, a one can of gandules, one can of Goya tomato sauce, one pack of sazon, one pack of ham, and not shown in here is also some onion powder. We're also going to be using some two cups of rice, one very small onion, two spoons of sofrito, and one and a half cups of water that includes the water or the liquid reserved from the can of gandules. Okay, so our first step is we have the oil warming up on saute mode on high. Now we're going to add the onion, which is one small onion. I put about two tablespoons of vegetable oil. You, use, you can use whatever oil you like. I'm going to go ahead and let that cook for a little bit, for, for about two minutes. Let me go ahead and get the sofrito. For the sofrito, we're going to add about... We're going to add two spoons of sofrito, maybe two and a half. And then we're going to go ahead and stir that in. It's smelling delicious in here. And we're also going to go ahead and add our pack of ham. If you have regular ham or chorizo, you can go ahead and add at this point instead of this. But we're going to go ahead and use a packet of ham because I don't have any ham or chorizo available to me right now. We're just going to stir that in. And then we're going to let it saute for about two minutes. And then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so next we're going to add our can of gandules, which the liquid was taken out and added to a measuring cup and I added extra water to it. Make sure we get everything in there. Give that a quick stir. Next we're gonna add our can, sorry not our can, our pack of sazon. Go ahead and add that and stir it in real quick. Get it well combined. Again, this is just a quick, simple, easy recipe to make arroz con gandules in the Instant Pot. Next, we add our olives. You can add as little or as many as you like. If you don't like olives, you don't have to add any at all. But I do like cooking with olives. So we'll add a couple there. We're gonna give that a mix. And then we're gonna add half a can of the Goya tomato sauce. Normally, um, for bigger parties, instead of two cups of rice, I'll go ahead and do three cups of rice or even four and keep everything the same exact way except for the water. I'll make it one extra cup and see if I was doing it on the stove top. And I would definitely add one full can of Goya sauce if I'm doing three cups or more of this. Now at this point, we're gonna go ahead and add our liquid. And we're gonna, I only added half of the liquid so I can just deglaze the bottom real quick, make sure there's nothing stuck. That way the pressure cooker can come to pressure and then add the rest of the liquid. Again, that was the liquid from the gandules can and I brought added water to bring it up to one and a half cups of water. Normally, if you're cooking on the stove top, you're gonna do equal water to rice or you're gonna do a little bit more water than rice, but in the Instant Pot, it is not the same thing. Now we add the two cups of rice. Give it all a stir. I am still on saute mode just to keep the heat going. And we're gonna give that a mix and then we're gonna add our salt, onion powder, and garlic powder. So here we are, we're gonna add our salt. I just put some in my palm. You, add, you go ahead and add as many or as little salt that you would like. And 
now I'm going to add some onion powder. Again, everything is to taste. And give everything a stir. Make sure you deglaze the bottom. At this point, you can turn off the saute mode on your Instant Pot and just scrape the bottom, make sure there's nothing burning on the bottom that's the last thing you want, it will not come to pressure and from here it's time to close from here we're just going to press manual put it up to 18 minutes on high pressure and let it come to pressure okay guys, um, it took some time but as you can see here it did come to pressure you see it is raised up the little red um metal thing that comes up when it comes to pressure sometimes when you have an instant pot it won't come to pressure for some reason when making rice what you have to do is make sure there's no pressure inside and um just quickly open this up the little vent and make sure there's no um, air inside then close it back up open your lid and then keep playing with it, closing it until it actually, this red thing does stay up. Sometimes with Instant Pots, I don't know why, it just happens and it doesn't come to pressure. But again, manual, high, 18 minutes, make sure it comes to pressure. And then after it's done, you're gonna let it rest for 10 minutes on a slow release. And then I'll show you the final product. Okay guys, as you can see, my countdown on my Instant Pot went down to zero. Now we're gonna go ahead and let it go up to 10 minutes on a slow release. Then we're gonna quick release it and see, see the final product. All right guys, so it's now been 11 minutes on slow release. We're gonna go ahead and quick release it and we're gonna see what the final outcome is. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and take a look. Always be careful with the steam. Gonna go ahead, man, it smells beautiful in there. Let's go ahead and give this a quick little mix. As you can see, there's some burnt parts on the bottom. In Cuba, we call that the rapa or in Puerto Rico, my wife is Puerto Rican, they call it el pegao. That's where all the great flavor is. It's little crunchy rice. But you can see it right here, guys. Arroz con gandules, cooked in the Instant Pot to perfection. And it's just gonna taste wonderful. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and subscribe if you're new. Click on the like button, share it with your family and friends. And stay tuned for more cooking videos. This is our first cooking video on this channel. Stay blessed.